Hello everybody, in this Rhino 7 video, I would like to show how we can convert a STL mesh object to a NURBS formatted one. Okay, let's start. Now, what I'm going to do is to import a STL mesh that was created elsewhere into Rhino. Okay, as you can see, the model is made out of numerous tiny triangles. And if I were to convert it now to sub D, the result will not be desirable. This is because the resultant sub D will be made out of too many tiny pieces. Okay, so what is required now is to reduce the polygon count using a tool such as the quad remesh okay the quad remesh is parked under the sub d tools and is this icon over here and i'm going to demonstrate it now okay So these are the quad remesh uh, options. Uh, we have things like the target quad count, which can be used to determine the amount of uh, quads generated. Okay, and then we have the adaptive uh, size in percentage, which is currently set to fifty. We can use this uh, option to determine and control the level of details of the final output. Okay. Currently, we just leave it as PT first, and then we have the adaptive quad count, which is currently enabled. Okay. Okay. I also want to have the detect hard edges enabled. Okay. Let's click a uh, preview. See the result based on the current uh, parameters. I take a while. Okay. okay. This is a preview, and as you can see, the topology is not exactly symmetrical about this uh, region over here. However, our helmet is a symmetrical one so what i'm going to do next is to turn on the symmetry axis and set it to y okay and let's see um, the result now okay you can see now that the topology is now symmetrical about uh, the y axis okay which is what we want okay so um now I think I can turn on the convert to sub D for a better um, preview of the result. Okay, and let's uh, uncheck this height input objects so that we can compare it <coughs> against the original uh, STL mesh. Okay, and we can see that these regions are not uh, aligning close to the original form. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the adaptive size percentage to something like 90. Okay, you can see that um is adhering closer to the form, okay? Is getting closer to the original form, okay? So what I'm going to do next is to turn on these um, sub decreases. Okay, this will enable certain regions to maintain uh, their sharpness. Okay, as you can see over here, yep. And also, I want to turn on the sub D corners. Okay. Okay, I'm going to click OK.
Okay, we got our resultant sub D model. Okay, as you can see, the sub D model is actually um, generated pretty uh, close and similar to the initial STL mesh one. Okay. Now what we need to do is to convert the sub D to uh, NURBS format, okay? And we can do so by typing at the command prompt to NURBS, okay? And then select the sub D object. I think I will want to delete the input objects, okay? So I click yes, type enter. Okay, we have created the final NURBS formatted one. Okay. okay. As you can see, this kind of work can be rather useful for processes such as um, reverse engineering of 3D scan data. This could well be the initial um, starting point for the um, conversion of 3D scan data to uh, NURBS 1 which is uh, actually essential for manufacturing purposes okay with that I come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye